Hey guys, how y'all doing? I hope everything is well. Everything is good with me. Y'all, I got this here video I wanted y'all to see. Plus, I'm going to read this here. Um, It's about a mom. She powed her 13-year-old daughter in the neck. And then tried to convince her daughter to say that somebody broke in the house or something like that there and did this to her. Like... She's 13. You powed her. Do you seriously think your your child is going to be like, yeah, okay, mom, I'm going to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could just go around and power me. You know, next time, you know, you may power me again. You know, that's crazy. She's 13 years old. She's scared as hell. She needs you to get the hell away from her right now. I know children love their parents, but I don't think parents power the children. That's just stupid. Judge did I bond for Marilyn mother accused of sh of powering her 13 year old daughter. Upper Mar Upper Barboro Marlboro, Marilyn. A judge had denied bond for a Marilyn woman accused of powering her own daughter. Talika Brown, 32, was charged this week with attempt the first first degree murder for allegedly shooting her 13 year old daughter inside the seat pleasant home after a verbal argument that turned physical wow according to the police authorities arrived According to the police, authorities arrived at the home on the 500 block of 69th Place just before 5 p.m. Monday to find Brown's daughter piled in the neck. There were also fragments found in her shoulder and in her abdomen, according to the charging documents. Okay, now he says this is related. It's just a small little thing here. Surveillance footage captured chilling moments before mom allegedly powed teen daughter. A 13-year-old girl is fighting for her life after police said the mother shot her in the neck during a dis domestic dispute Monday evening. Surveillance footage shows the teen walking home from school, grabbing a trash can, from the curb and entering the house. Brown's attorney argued in court that she should be released from jail in order to go home on home detention because the 13 year old was able to stay with her father. The attorney also cited Brown lack of violence, criminal history. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You piled your daughter. You piled your daughter. Are you are you crazy, lady? Like, no. So what's she saying with her father? Maybe she needs to be with her father. Like, for real. That's just ridiculous. Hmm. Okay. Her records show for itself, the attorney says. Ashley Schroen, that's the attorney, a, a, assistant state attorney for Prince George County, said in a court Wednesday that Brown left a voicemail to her daughter's father from jail earlier in the day in a voicemail. Brown allegedly referred to the attempt first degree murder charges and stated, come on, that's not me. Is she seriously trying to say Somebody else did that? The attorney said she also told the father that if their daughter did not make a statement or appear in court, this would go away. Lord, do she know she being taped? <laughs> Dodo, you Dodo bird. Do you know that you are being taped in jail? So everything you're saying is on tape, stupid. In the, in the 
charging documents obtained by Fox 5. Authorities said Brown initially told her daughter to tell police that she was pound after somebody broke into the house. That was concerning to the state because obviously with her being 13 years old, she was very impressionable and that our concern is that's our concern. It's her mother. She's going to listen to her mother. We don't want her to be tainted in any way by the pressure, the attorney said after the hearing. According to the attorney, the child's father told prosecutors that doctors was initially concerned about possible paralyzed, being her being paralyzed. Wow. However, it appears that is not no longer an issue. Doctors are still concerned about long-lasting physical pain and emotional pain, the attorney says. The attorney added that Brown has never asked about her daughter, how she was doing, or is she okay, is she still living, or what. She, did, she, did, she, she wasn't even concerned. That's why Bahan needs to stay right where she's at, like for real. Despite information from the child's father that she was in excruciating pain, Lord, of course she got out in the neck. Imagine, you, you, that's your throat. She could have actually, literally, you know, um, collapsed her lung. Thank God that did not happen. And you know that's your A order. You know that's crazy. Ah, oh, a preliminary hearing is occurring, scheduled for October. Yes. So this Miss Brown feel it's okay for her to pal her daughter and then try to get her daughter to lie. And not even that. You tried to get the child's father to convince the little girl to not to show the court not to show up to court and things would just go away. No, that that's not how it worked. That's ridiculous. You piled your daughter. She's she's never she's never gonna forget this till the day she's gone. That her mother piled her in the neck. That could have cost her her life. To God forbid, you know. Thank God, you know that the bullet did not, you know, damage any, you know main organs, you know, in her neck that went through her shoulder. They said fragments and plus her abdomen. That, that what kind of gun did she have? Dang. But anyway, y'all, I want y'all to see the video because um y'all can see for yourself. All right, y'all. Hit that like button and subscribe. Can y'all just hit that button and just go ding, ding. All right, y'all, wait for it. County is in the hospital fighting for her life after police say her own mother tried to murder her. The shooting happened Monday evening in Prince George's County. Fox 5 Nanasa Yabonsu is at the Sea Pleasant Police Department with surveillance video that happened moments before that shooting. And also, from what we understand, Nana, you have some new details from investigators. Yes, we do. So let me tell you, around this police department is the home where officers found the 13-year-old girl with a gunshot wound in her neck. Now, when officers arrived, the girl told them that her mother asked her to tell officers that someone else shot her. Well, it was through further investigation and surveillance video that we're about to show you that police determined the girl was shot by her mother. I actually saw them walk her down the block and uh, handcuff her and put her in the back seat. Tina Nyblack was outside early Monday evening when she noticed caution tape blocking off one of the homes on her street. You know, we're not sure of the details of how it happened or what happened to her. Fox 5 spoke with her yesterday when Seat Pleasant police were trying to figure out who shot a 13-year-old girl. At the time of the interview, Nyblack didn't know the suspect was the victim's mother, but now she does. Oh my, this this is horrible. 
According to court documents, when police entered the home here on 69th Place, they found a 13-year-old girl near the front door with a gunshot wound to her neck. The girl told police that she and her mother got into an argument that turned physical. She noticed her mom holding a gun. As she started to walk away, down the steps is when she heard one gunshot and fell to the bottom of the stairs. The girl also told police that her mother, 32-year-old Talika Brown, instructed her to tell them that she was shot by someone who had broken into the house. So police started reviewing surveillance footage like the video on your screen, where you can see the teenage girl walking home from school with a book bag. She grabs the trash can from the curb and brings it to the side of the home before entering the house. According to court documents, between the time she entered the home and the shot was fired, no one else was seen entering or exiting the home. The girl and her mother were the only ones in the house. Investigators say Brown continued to give them conflicting stories before they arrested and charged her with first-degree attempted murder. In a statement, the acting police chief in Seat Pleasant says, it is always tragic when we have acts of violence within our community, but it is heart-wrenching when the perpetrator is supposed to be your protector. Neighbors like Nye Black feel the same way. It's domestic violence within your home, within your four walls where you should be protected. That's still domestic violence, parent, child, and it's just so disheartening that that too much of this is happening today. Now, police tell us that the girl is recovering at the hospital, but will need additional surgery as her condition becomes more stable. Now, police also confirmed that they did find a loaded Glock inside that home when they executed a search warrant later on that night. Brown is expected in court tomorrow for her bond hearing at 115. Guys.